We are at the Estadio Nacional in Lisbon, Portugal to uh, celebrate the Mercurial Superfly. The excitement is watching people interact with the boots for the first time, experience them, wear them on pitch, play in them. You're almost at a bit of a loss for words about what it actually means now that Superfly is on pitch. We were really always after this idea of, of designing and developing the perfect boot for explosive speed. What happened to really align the stars was at the same time, you know, Nike was really perfecting the technology around Flyknit. And what we learned very quickly was that Flyknit could enable everything that we wanted to deliver in the Superfly as a technology, which was just fantastic. <laughs> We're actually quite inspired by what's happening outside of the world of football, you know, specifically around just the, the different style icons that we have in football, what colors they're wearing, what type of aesthetic they like is really inspirational and, and helps us think about what our boots should look like. In terms of the competition, I think we've got more than enough to focus on with really focusing on the game and our athletes, and we don't really focus on the competition, no. The voice of the public is actually really important and much more important than you might think. If you think about the development of Superfly, for example, some of the first people to actually see the Superfly prototypes were some of our 17-year-old academy players. From there, we start sort of working and refining the concept based on feedback from elite athletes, but that process then continues. So it's quite powerful how many 17, 18, 19-year-olds actually participate in the development of, of products such as the Superfly, even though maybe at the time they're not aware of what their input actually is, is going into. There are certain insights that are evergreen that just won't change even when the game changes. ACC is one of them. I mean, this, this idea of, of wanting a boot that performs equally well in wet and dry conditions is an insight that isn't going to go away. And I think the same thing is true around this, this idea that players want a lockdown fit and that lockdown fit can only be achieved through the dynamic fit collar is an insight that isn't gonna change. Players wanna be locked down for explosive speed and the dynamic fit collars is the way to achieve that. We definitely have a couple of ideas saved for the future. I think the one idea that, that really uh, Flyknit enabled us to achieve was this idea of changing the silhouette. The dynamic fit collar is something that's truly only possible with Flyknit. The fit that can be achieved through Flyknit was something too good for us to pass up. If you think about what Superfly is known for, it's known for revolutionary technology and aesthetics that the world of football has never seen in boots. And you know, I think when you look at this boot, it clearly hits the mark of being revolutionary in terms of technology, but also aesthetics. So we actually uh, discussed at length what we should call this boot. And the fact is that Superfly is an amazing name. It's a name that we have a ton of equity in. Uh, and we felt like this more than met the mark of a boot uh, that could be called Superfly. So we had an opportunity to go visit uh, Kevin Prince Boateng and, and Stephen El Sharawi and we were told these players are very, very busy and, and so they may not have very much time to, to spend with the boots, but they're very excited about giving their opinion. So Kevin Prince Boateng walks in and he has his, his headphones in, he's actually talking on his phone. The presentation begins and he's, he's still on his phone and then I actually pull the boot out of the bag and he quietly takes his headphones off wraps his headphones around his phone, turns around, puts his, his, his phone on the table behind him, and just sort of leans in, takes the boot, puts it on, and from there, it was just an amazing interaction. And, and that's where you get the, the quote from the, the player video that we have, where he says, you know, these are unbelievable, can I play with them already on Sunday? Uh, just an amazing transformation of somebody who was, was certainly involved, but then all of a sudden became sort of personally involved as soon as he experienced what Superfly was like on his foot. Uh, so that was just, that was an amazing part of the journey for us.